instead of, you know, relaxing, having a nice night, I'm instead going to ramble for a while about why a hypothetical that will probably never exist anyway and nobody's really contesting about is bad, or would be bad. Um, cruise boosting in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I mean, what even is cruise boosting? I mean, there's no possible way anybody clicked on this and just didn't know what cruise boosting was. But very quickly, it is a highly used tech in SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, as shown in this run. So it uses the cruise bubble and bubble bowl power ups. Um which you get from beating, like, the main bosses in the game. You have to beat them anyway. Um, actually, no, you don't have to, but they, they're too reliable. They, they, the powers are too good. Um, and then you go up against a wall when you have both powers, so the L trigger and the B button, and you press them, like, on the same frame against, like, some wall. And then, immediately after, you kind of hold, like sort of the opposite direction, and do the inputs again. And if you did it correctly, you get a big speed boost. Before that, um, this isn't really a good example, actually. But before that, you know, just kind of have, like, regular walking speed. Yeah, it's just too much cruise boosting around here. Um, as you can see, like, the, the, you can see from me standing still there, I'm using my gameplay. Watch now. That's me standing still, so I get pushed forward, because I'm kind of locking, like, this, you know, using those two things, you know, uh, Bubble Ball, like, makes Spongebob move forward, the Bubble Ball has, like, a certain amount of speed to it, and it's like, that force is being captured by the Cruise Bubble, and it's pushing you forward. And it, and you can get way faster Cruise Boost than this, by the way, There's some of the stuff that they do now, it's like... Like, you wonder how they even can control those cruise boosts, but this is like the standard one, the one that was found years ago. Um, the, you know, the very basic one that people start learning. Um, wow, well, ledge grab there, I suck. So, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie uses the same engine as this game, and it doesn't have cruise bubble, but it has guitar, and that would work just fine. And it has ball, not bubble ball, but it has ball. So, cruise boosting should work in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Why does it not? Well, the reason why it doesn't is because Heavy Iron knew about cruise boosting. There is no denying it. They specifically... They specifically coded it so that you cannot press guitar and ball on the same frame. They specifically went out of the way to program it exactly like that. They knew about cruise boosting in 2004. And that is very weird to me. Um... And it's like, ah, oh, well... Yeah, because... Especially back in the day, cruise boosting was, like, basically the only reason why people ran BFBB. And TSSM is, you know, slower paced. Especially because of the sliding and driving levels, but just in general, it's slower paced. BFBB, and it didn't have, like, this cruise boosting. And I've heard... It doesn't really... It's, people don't really say it anymore. But back in the day, and very occasionally now, you hear, like... Oh, wow. Um... Wouldn't it be cool if... If that game had cruise boosting, or like, what would it be like if it had cruise boosting? You know? Um, but I'm here today to tell you why it would be stupid and dumb and bad and cringe. Um, so we have all the categories that it would even apply to, all the movie categories up here. Uh, but the categories it applies to real quick. That'll be showing off. Uh, no pull storage, no major glitches, 100%. Um... It, it does apply to all tokens, but, like, the way that you do cruise boosting would just be the same as no major glitches and 100%, so I, I didn't, like, show, like, a thing for it. All extras. Um, and then on extensions. Early powers. All world tokens. And potentially all platforming levels. I don't expect this video to be super long. Um... But yeah, we can kind of just get into it. So, immediately, something needs to be said, right? You saw the speed of that cruise boost. You cannot do that in this game. You can't do it. Why? Because ball speed is slower. 
So, in BFBB, SpongeBob never has to upgrade his moves. He unlocks moves, but he never upgrades them. They're already powerful. What they did in TSSM was introduce an upgrade system. And one of the ways that they justified the upgrade system was by nerfing all of SpongeBob and Patrick's moves. Um, compared to the original, well, I say original, um, it's not like a direct sequel or anything, it's just a game that uses the same engine, um, and it reuses a lot of assets and stuff, but, yeah, it is, it does go for a different approach, it's more linear, um, more of a point A to point B type of thing with, like, side stuff, less of an emphasis on, like, collecting. Anyway... So, Spongebob's moves and Patrick's... Well, not really, but Patrick was terrible in BFB, but Spongebob's moves were, like, way too good um, to also have an upgrade system. And they used the manliness points. You know, in BFB, is shiny. He's been in this game as manliness points. In BFB, you use that for ga clam gates, for spatula, you know, for Mr. Crab spatulas and stuff like that. This game does not have a hub world, and it doesn't have crab spatulas or, or tokens or anything like that. The manliness points are just used for upgrades. Um, so that's that's what they were, you know, the currency was repurposed for. And obviously you got to nerf the main moves to justify these upgrades. I mean, Patrick was, is eating pretty good. And honestly, right, when you upgrade most of SpongeBob's moves, they are better than they are in BFB. It still throws the, uh, the combat system kind of out of whack, but point being the more powerful. But what the, the crucial thing is that Bull... Ball is slower. Unupgraded ball is slower. And that means that if you cruise boost, you will get less speed. How much less speed? A lot less speed. So, you saw that cruise boost earlier, right? That is a 5, I believe, 5 speed cruise boost. You don't really need to... I think they get some pretty insane speeds now. But yeah, that's a standard 5 speed, right? I forget the exact number, but I know it's either one of two things. There were only one of two speeds that you could get in this game if you did a cruise boost, because Ball is so slow in comparison, right? The speed that you would get, the forward momentum speed that you would get, would either be 0.8 or 0.6. I forget which one, it's one of the two. But either way, that means that even the slowest traditional crew I mean, obviously you can get slower than that in BFB, but that, like the 5 one was the standard for a very long time. Um, and, and now, again, they can even go, like, I think they can go to, like, well, well over, like, 25 now, if they really want to. But, yeah, the standard is 5. This game, this game's cruise boost would be more than 5 times slower than the one in BFB that doesn't even see that much action anymore, because people do even faster cruise boosts whenever they can. And I don't really need to go into detail about how they do these faster cruise boosts. But I don't, even if cruise boosting was in this game, I don't think we'd be seeing those cruise, because it's like cruise boosting off of, like, slopes and stuff can, like, give Spongebob, like, even more speed, because it, I think it adds, like, falling speed or something to the, I don't know, it's something like that, it just really, it just multiplies the, uh, the, the speed you could get, um, in this game, there's no, there's not, like, a bunch of big ledges like that, I don't even think we'd be able to get faster cruise boosts anyway, um, so, instead of me, I mean, it's pretty obvious why a 0.8 speed cruise boost would just be, just, you know, just really, really slow. Um, like, if you did a cruise boost, like a 0.8 or 0.6 speed cruise boost, and you just walk in a straight line for a minute compared to just walking in a straight line for a minute anyway, like, without doing a cruise boost, like, yeah, it, it would save a few seconds, but, like, it's so unnoticeable, you know, unless you actually compare them. Um... I can't really get much done with that. Um, and needless to say, then at that point, is like, why are you making this video? We're going to make an exception and just do, do a hypothetical where the speed would be 5. Because that is the only way that this topic is interesting. And even if it was still 5, I still would not want to end the game. So we are even going to give the game the... I can't even call it the benefit of the doubt. We're just going to cheat and just give it a 5-speed cruise boost. Again, I don't think we can make it any faster than that, but we get 5-speed cruise boosts. What can we do with that? Well, I'm going to show you why it would be mostly useless. And then you could say, well, what's the you know, what's the issue with it being useless? Uh, the, you know, the only saving a little bit. But, you know, we'll get to that later. So, 
This is the main category, no pole storage. So how, where would cruise boosting be used here? Well, again, you need guitar. You need 40 tokens for guitar. And around this part in the run, 52 minutes is where you actually unlock cruise boosting. So, you know, there isn't much time left. There's only 10 minutes left in the run where you could theoretically use it. Um... Well, it, you know, in BFBB, they, they route a lot of stuff around to move spatulas to late game. Can we do that here? No, we only have 68 tokens, and a lot of them are sliding and driving levels where cruise boosting would not apply. Or even just things that were, it just wouldn't matter, like combat arenas and stuff. BFBB, in theory, every spatula, almost, could benefit from cruise boosting, except for, like, a few. Um, And some would, it just it would only save, like, a second or whatever. This is different. We are so heavily restricted. Um, so we get your guitar here. Send a bowl storage. Now, <laughs> um, immediately, we... Okay, so I don't really... Basically, we need to um, pause during an upgraded bowl detonation, like right there, to set up a trick known as Mindy Skip. So you don't want to, um, you know break you don't want to use bowl again from here on out now you can you could still cruise boost but they would well it'd be guitar boosting but it would have its um that would have its own issue if you fuck it up and accidentally f uh full bowl then you'd break bowl and then you'd have to do a slower bold storage setup which would lose like 10 seconds so already that'd be risky but okay you know if you're still at a high level you'd still want to cruise boosting right well so here's what we got going on there's not really anywhere to cruise boost here we could walk over here and get like a five speed cruise boost um and yeah you know it'd be like a tiny bit faster but this is already like you know we already do like this okay well i fucked it up but you can already do like a little damage boost here so i'm trying to imagine it right And I can definitely, I can see it saving, like, maybe half a second or something if you get the fucking cruise boost first try. Okay, not looking too good. And then there's a bunch of wall jumps, so no cruise boosting here. And then there's a lag clip. So no cruise boosting here. Um, the only thing is that I don't know how cruise boosting would work with lag clips. Because even though BFMB did have lag clips, they were completely different. I don't know if you'd get even more speed. Um, with this. Um, you could say, oh, well, shouldn't you have tried some sort of cruise boost cheat code or something? You know, doesn't that something like that exist? It does exist, but it only works on GameCube and GameCube can't lag clip. And even then, I'd have to get the cheat code, like, working on a hard drive version of the game, which means no lag. I don't even know if you... But maybe you could bulge, uh, cruise boost and then do... Uh, wall jumps. But... I, I don't know if you get a speed boost here. You might. But it, you don't really... I, I don't know. I don't know if you'd I don't know if you get a... You get more speed when walking on the ground than jumping in there, I think, until you get higher speed cruise boost. But because we're dealing with five speed cruise boost, it, that doesn't really apply. So I don't really know if it saved time yet, but even if it did, it wouldn't even save much. And then you do a light clip here. And then you might even just get fucked here from a cruise boost speed, honestly. You might just die in a lot of Let's just assume that you don't. And you need to get rid of your ball. In fact, yeah, no. You... Yeah, we'd have to do a slower ball stor storage. Because you'd have to get rid of ball here. Actually, okay, well, you don't have to. In fact, no, no, no. You could jump across. I think. It's hard to... Yeah, yeah, no. I, you, could, you could jump across. I don't know if you could fully make it over, but you could... Get the checkpoint here. Um, another thing of no, actually, another reason why cruise boosting would just not be very useful in this game. SpongeBob has slam in BFB, so he can use that to stall in the air for even longer if absolutely necessary. In this game, he does not have slam, so he'd only be able to double jump, spin, or jump, spin, jump. Um, but yeah, so you would save a little bit of time here. Um. I fucked up there, but yeah, that doesn't matter. And then you 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 would actually wait no, what do you need to get rid of it here? 
I don't think you can make it over. Yeah, no, I don't think you can make it over. No, you actually need to get rid of it. Um, so what you would do to maintain bowl storage is that you would purposely grab the checkpoint here as opposed to... I don't even know if you can make the jump, but even if you can, you want to purposely do this. But it would save a little bit of time. Um, okay, so, you know, we're saving a small handful of seconds here. And then we have a driving level, so no cruise boosting there. And then we have Neptune, which is all cycle-based, so no cruise boosting there. And now we're at the end of the run. Wow, wasn't that exciting on that cruise boosting? Potentially a very microscopic time save entering Area 2. Maybe a fast, a little bit of a fast light clip. And, dude, even if we're being a little optimistic, I think all of that stuff would literally save, like... God, like... Mm, let me think. Even if the sponge glide gives you uh, more speed from cruise boosting, which I don't even know if it does, and then this, it'd probably save, like, at most, like, 15 seconds, and I don't even think it'd save that. It'd probably save, like, fucking, like, 12. And this is the most popular category. And again... The whole point of this category, you get 40 tokens and we book it immediately to the end of the game. This statue that we fight, uh, the monumental statue, is programmed to only take damage from guitar. So it's not like, you know, so we just get 40 tokens and just come here like immediately and then all that's left are two levels that can't use it. There's not even like, you know how in BFB there's like boss triggers to end fights early and to some of them you, you get them by using cruise boosting? There's no debug boss triggers in this game. They don't exist. Um, so, yeah. Not, so, it would have almost no use in this category. And if uh, you don't benefit from uh, cruise boosting with Sponge Glide, it's not even worth doing for the, uh, for the other thing, really. Or maybe save, like, a second... So yeah, worst case scenario, this shit would save like a second or two and probably wouldn't even be worth it because if you fuck it up, then you lose on ball storage. So, yeah, pretty damn useless there. Okay, well, you know, it's not the only category. You know, we got more going on, right? I mean, yeah. That's one category down. Let's go to no major glitches, which it's called no mini skip in the, in the title because um, that's what it was called when I did the run. Um... So, this is where we get cruise, but we just get it again uh, after collecting some plank tokens. Um, you could do a little bit of rerouting in this category, but when I say a little bit of re uh, rerouting... Okay, so, there is a theoretical route to move some tokens early to do plank late game... Uh, to, to do plank w in with guitar, because you can do uh, lag clips. And if you could also cruise boost during it, that would make the route worth it. So, god damn it, I probably should have shown that. Um, I'll, I'll just show how it traditionally is right now. Um, so yeah, you just get guitar and then you immediately well you book it to a guitar challenge you can't use it here um and then after collecting the token you could use it here so we get a cruise boost off of the uh the port ahead probably and then you make it over here and basically all you do you do a little lag thing called a y plus r jump you just lag the game and then when you you're done doing the lag inputs you press the r trigger and y at the same time and then you can um get up here however what you could do if you had a cruise boost i think you could anyway you might not be able to make it potentially but i think you would be able to bash up here with the cruise boost speed it's hard to say if you could if you can't then there's no cruise boost application here but okay actually honestly let me think 
Because you could bash and then just jump out of the bash. Yeah, so you probably could make it. Yeah, so it would save like three seconds if it's even possible. Okay, so like three seconds. Then, uh, Depression Combat, I can't use it there. Uh, Depression Guitar, I can't use it there. And then we get to BBBH. Now, there's a thing called BBBH backwards in this category. It's also in No Major Glitches and All World Tokens. Um, we need to use Patrick to get back. You cannot use SpongeBob. Well, you could use SpongeBob, but it's not worth it because Patrick has Cartwheel in this game. It doesn't have that in BFB. And it's pretty fast. It wouldn't be as fast as a Cruise Boost. <sighs> okay, yeah, so, okay. I think Cruise Boosting would be, would be useful here, actually. Um, because even though cruise boosting wouldn't be that much faster than car wheeling, we have to, you wouldn't even need to, oh no, you, you wouldn't need to sub guitar storage though, that's the one downside. Well, you have to set it up anyway with like the fastest way of doing this, but yeah, use guitar, because guitar removes the floorboards here, so we have to store guitar, then we ledge grab so it doesn't teleport us, and then we can just, yeah, so basically that's what you do. So that's why it's fast to do the level backwards, then I just grab a warp. And then we get to here. Um, because I'm, we need to do the guitar challenge. And then we do the guitar challenge and then drown. And then our checkpoint is set up at a part of level that SpongeBob's not supposed to be in. You could skip that with cruise boosting. Um, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to set up uh, guitar storage. But then afterwards, you would just get a cruise boost off the wall. You would do all of this with SpongeBob. And then, you wouldn't even need to set your checkpoint here. But you would get rid of... I think you'd get rid of guitar here. Uh, not here. Um, basically... Hold on. This was, this is like two minutes long. I'm just trying to... Yeah, so you drown. Because basically, there's a challenge here. But I... F I feel like... Um... Maybe it could be faster to grab the throwing fruit warp and then just do the shit back with a SpongeBob, but I don't think it would be, right? So you get rid of bowl, you do the shit of SpongeBob, you grab the token. I think these poles are solid. It'd be pretty hard, but I think you'd cruise boost off of those poles. You can also get a cruise cancel to make the animation slightly faster. And then you'd do this hard backwards. Uh, you wouldn't need to guitar this, you could just go the other way. Um, and then you could do all this, but then you'd have to get rid of Ball here again to guitar this. But I do believe that would be fast, uh, uh, fast. And then, um, just the same thing here with entering Plank Area 2. There would be a small benefit to cruise boosting here. You could cruise boost here. And then you wouldn't need to get a damage boost off this off this move. You could just jump down. However, then I, we don't. I don't know what the move cycle would be like. Let's just assume they'd be fine. And then you get rid of ball here, and then you guitar this because this only spawns when you're around this area. Um. And then sponge ball, no cruise boosting to be had. And then probably no cruise boosting here. And then again, the same thing as last time. So, that's all the cruise boosting that you could do in this category, unless we're getting into theoreticals. Um, in this category, obviously the bulk of it is BBBH. Plank is just like the same sort of thing as before, potentially even less useful. Um, and then BBBH, you could do a faster version of BBBH backwards. Um, and it would be a little harder, would be a little cooler, would be a little faster. Okay, how much would it save? I don't really know. Probably save like 25 seconds or something, you know, not a gigantic time save, but you know, it's there. Um, but now, I should probably... Actually, we can use 100% to go like a theoretical. So in Plank, in 100%, you... I have a lag clip, so if it's what I just get an extra, no, don't worry about that. Let me do lag clips. 
Um, so you just... You need guitar for these lag clips, that's why, you know, and and in the hundo you can obviously get enough because you need all the tokens anyway, so you can just make a route that allows you to get enough in, in here. Um, and then you just like cruise boost off the wall or something, and then you just bash up. Just do these wall jumps because you can't double jump spin across because we don't have slam. You just get a little bit of speed, and then uh, you can even maintain it during the bungee challenge assuming you don't get hit. Then you'd probably have to angle your camera so you don't... But then it would be useless after that because we have this lag clip. But not useless. But you would get rid of it there. Then... This this is also all, all also going to apply to Hundo, by the way, as you can see. Instead of switching the Patrick here, what you would do is cruise boost off the wall as Spongebob and then just do all this. It wouldn't be that fast, but it'd be something. And you could do that in... you. This guitar route does exist in No Major Glitches by doing some really fucky things. Basically... You know that BBBH backwards I showed you? That was in late game. However, it is th it is possible to do it in mid game, but it's it's quite okay. So BBBH backwards mid game does have some merit to it. Um, in itself, it's only a little slower than BBBH backwards late game, and t except for the very beginning, basically. You have to reload to the beginning of the level and climb, like, all the way up a tube um, in BBBH. So, that's not exactly ideal, to say the least. Um, so, in fact, I could get a better example of it. In all world tokens, because this is the only category where you actually, where it's actually viable to do this. So I'm, I'm just going to do times two, but you would reload to BBBH after already being here. So you waste the load, you waste movement getting up to this pipe, and then... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, well anyway, it, oh Jesus, dude. Okay, ignore the bad gameplay, but basically, dude, god, I'm so goddamn bad. You would jump all the way up, uh... All the way up the tube. And this shit is really hard. It's shockingly hard to do to, to, to do these two frame jumps while also just like turning everywhere and like god it, it'd be bad. And if you accidentally hit the TNT, not only are you fucking yourself a little bit because then you can't get a cutscene skip, it also push you back down the slide. So you so keep in mind the timing that I'm gonna tell you soon for how fast this route could be will be assuming that the jumps are fucking perfect. Then you would do BBBH backwards without guitar storage, which only loses a little bit over doing guitar storage. But yeah, going... And then you would do depression combat early, which in itself is not a problem. It would lose a couple uh, seconds of menuing, but that is okay. And then you could do a bunch of light clips in Plank. And the total time save of that route in No Major Glitches is minus two seconds. Meaning it loses two seconds, because climbing up the tube is that slow. Um, however, and it would be a pretty sick route, however, right, um, like I said, it wouldn't be super useful, but as you, as I described in Hundo, you could use it a little bit, and I don't know how much to save, but maybe this route would be saving like 8 seconds, 10 seconds, it still wouldn't be worth it, but it'd be theoretically fast, and that'd be based. But yeah, for the most part, is basically just, uh, it's basically just, no, it, it's basically just BBBH for the most part, but yeah. Okay, so this one gets a chunk more, uh, no, no major glitches gets a chunk more time save. What about Hundo? Well, we already went over where it would save time in Hundo, you wouldn't even have to make any routing compromises for it. Then, SCDA is the exact same that you already saw before, so we don't need to look at that again. Um, this would be, this would save time, so... After this, we do something called a Guitar Glide. You saw a Guitar Glide clip earlier, but this is just a regular Guitar Glide. Um, so as you can see, 
we need to use that to uh, get over to this area. However, we could just double jump spin over after getting a cruise boost after doing guitar. Wouldn't be that fast, but, you know, save a little bit. In fact, it save even more because then you save some walking. You do need to get rid of ball after this, but it would save, like, four seconds. You know, that's something. Uh, you need to destroy this with ball. That's just the fastest way of doing it. Then... Uh, depression combat, but that is not useful. Then you just do 3k bungee, but there's just no real application for it there. Then plank, you enter the same way as normal. Sponge ball already went on about that earlier. Um. So, so far, it's saving like a little bit, you know? Just like a little bit. But for Hundo, Hundo's pretty damn long. It's like, dude, where's it, where's it get good? You know? Um, and here is where we get good. So you could do a cruise boost off that wall just then, maybe, assuming the moves don't hit you. But we actually grab the extras here, so we don't do that live clip that you saw in No Major Glitches. So you could just double jump spin across here. Um, if you want to do fast wall jumps, they're kind of hard. You need to jump, like, you need to get, like, this weird little jump off here, but it doesn't always work, or it might just be super precise, I don't know, maybe I'm just skill issue, but... I died there, for example. That just wouldn't have been an issue otherwise. Now, you do get cucked a little bit because you do actually need to ball these, so you got to get rid of your cruise boost. But you could get another one while the platforms are rising. And then instead of doing a guitar glide here... Actually, no, you don't want to do a guitar glide, but that'd probably still maintain your... Actually, no, I don't think you would be able to do a guitar glide here if you already have a cruise boost. Because in battle... You can't cruise. You can't use a uh, cruise bubble after having a cruise boost, except for like specific circumstances. And I just don't think this would let you do that, probably. So yeah, I don't even think it'd be viable here to use a, to do a cruise boost. And we don't even need one here because we have something called ball boost, so you don't even need it here. So it would only save a little bit, basically. Um, to save, like, uh, a few seconds, really. So in Plank, it's saving, like, seven seconds or some bullshit. And uh, not, uh, seven, saving, like, three. Plus with, like, Plank 1, save a little more. Uh, Knucklehead, no. Guess 2, no. Combat, no. Combat, no. Rub-a-dub, no. Weenie no, and then Neptune. Okay, so that's all the guitaring in this category. Um, we are very heavily restricted in this category anyway. You could say, oh, well, can't you move some platforming stuff to late game? Not really. I mean, even if we could, we need all the extras that we can get, and a lot of extras are kind of, like, in the way of other tokens anyway. So, um, we have something called Magnetic Pickup. Um... The extras, so there are 42 extras in the game, and the 39th extra, so the, each individual extra does not unlock its own thing. Like, if you collect only one extra, and it's from the final level that has extras, it'll just be the first extra. It won't be the final extra in the menu, it'll be the first one. So, yeah. Um, they're, not they're not specifically tied to uh, specific things. When you have 39 out of 42 extras... You get something called magnetic pickup, and it basically, you know, some things already come towards you, like a magnet, kind of, like um, manliness points and nitros and driving levels. But one thing that also does is extras, and it saves time in this category. And we had, to, and it was a major reroute, and we had to really work around it. So we only use it for three extras in the game. Which is why it's hard to make, uh, you know, it, it was a pain in the ass to route stuff. In fact, we had to, like, lose a lot of scrolls and stuff to make this route work. Although I am doing two things that aren't fast. I'm doing, like, the third fastest possible route, to be fair. Um. So, yeah, this is, like, the one use of magnetic pickup. That is otherwise not possible. And then the second use is after now that we're in combat. After finishing a combat arena, it forces you uh, out. And then we just grab the extra here, and it, it just saves a few seconds to grab it like this. 
and it skips having to potentially do a one frame. Well, you don't have to do a one frame, but the one frame without magnetic pickup would save a few seconds, but you don't have to worry about it here. And it saves time over the one frame anyway. And then the final place where um, uh, is here. Um, because it skips having to die, you can just grab it. Look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. It's it's really easy. You don't need you don't even need like great jump spacing. You just need like decent kind of whatever jump spacing. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this is just to show you like how restrictive the route is already. Like it was a little bit of a pain to route this. Um, but yeah, it's just what we, you know. So it's already restricted anyway. So we needed to move some tokens earlier in the run anyway. To uh you know have all the benefits of magnetic pickup i mean you also get a benefit from it from weenie parking because you get the nitro uh you get nitros magnetized too more uh quickly so you can take better lines and shit look okay, at nitros um so it is pretty restrictive um there is an all an all tokens reroute you could do in depression but that wouldn't really benefit guitar at all um and in Hundo, you can't even do the clip. Again, it's not, it's not anything to do with cruise boosting. In 3k, you need all the tokens, like, then. Um, you could, there's, like, theoretically something you could do, but it wouldn't really benefit you to use cruise boosting anyways. It's not really even worth bringing up. Now, here is a big thing that would apply. So, this category used to have something called BBBH Forwards Light. Um, so you would just do BBBH forwards, like how we do it in this split, but in late game. And the benefit of that was that you could do disco skip, disco skip skip. So you could do an even faster version of a trick that was a little tricky and a bit of a pain. And you could just move into late game and it was originally time to save like a second. Fast forward to now, and now it's time to save like to lose, like, two or three seconds. Um. However, if we could do it in late game, maybe we could do some cruise boosting action. Um. I doubt it, because there's a lot of, um. There's a lot of slam buttons in the way, but SpongeBob can guitar some of them, I think. But even in theory, you can't do that. Because then... You're restricting yourself out of one extra, and we need the extras. I mean, okay, you could skip the Natalie Men extra and then lose, on average, six seconds, but at least three seconds. And that's not too bad, but again, I don't even think you could theoretically make this way. And then even if you could, it would barely save anything. Um, and it'd be a pain in the ass. And you'd have to do a hard trick, like like an hour and a half later into the run or something like that. Might be a bit less than that. So... Yeah, that's out of the question. Um... Oh yeah, the floating blocks, only Patrick can do them, so there's no cruise boosting there. Um... Also, we're restricted anyway, because we do 3k bungee late game, because then you can just guitar, like, a bunch of boxes, instead of having to bash them, it saves a couple seconds. So, unless we push that earlier in the run, which we could, if we needed to, but... Now that we're men, nah, you need all these, I feel like. And also, you don't really- they're all, like, just damage-boosting shit anyway, you wouldn't really benefit. SCDA, you just use Patrick the entire time. E even- yeah, in SCDA Area 2, you can't even use SpongeBob, it literally, like, there's no port ahead. Burn through... No... Um, oh, something I just realized, by the way, setting up guitar, you can't set up guitar storage and then do a cruise boost afterwards because guitar storage, like to activate guitar storage and you press R, but you all you do is just set up a cruise boost and then just get guitar, so it'd be pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I thought I mentioned that. Dennis 2, no. Again, there's just like nothing. So, there isn't any, like, fancy routing we could do. Um, so yeah, that's all the time save that would be in Hundo. It would just be, like, 
Plank Area 1, teeny bit in Plank Area 2, and then that was, like, practically it, dude. Um, so Hundo benefits from it very, very little. The category that's benefited from, mo from it the most is No Major Glitches. Um, and like I said, you, in all, to well, all tokens, it would just be basically the exact same time save as No Major Glitches, except you could also do the 100% Planktopolis Lag Clip, so that category would save the most so far. I don't know how much it actually save. Again, it would be like 30 seconds or 32 seconds or something. I mean, it might even be less than that. It's kind of like highballing it to try and make these fucking cruise boosts seem like as good as possible, you know what I mean? I'm, tr I'm trying to show them off in the best light I can, reasonably. Um, next up is all extras. So again, same thing. You get 40 tokens and you book it. However, there are a couple extras that we can detour for. Um, so this is different. Um, this shit is different. So you could, like, get a cruise boost off of here and then walk up to here, you know, do some light clip stuff. And then you can also get the same benefits as Hundo. Um, okay, so there's, like, a few seconds here, but then again, a ball boost. Um, then we need to do a little bit of backtracking. And this is unique to all extras. So one thing you could do is get a cruise boost off the box. And then you could just do some backtracking here. And this this extra is kind of long, to be honest. It's like 40 seconds. Um, but yeah, it, it wouldn't save that much time. But it would just... It would just be a little faster. Um, you would get rid of your cruise boost after this. But still, you know, that's something. Um, magnetic pickup is not on this run, so we don't need to worry about that. Again, same thing here. Just get some benefit from it. And then that's it. Um, are there any extras you could go out of your way to preserve for like? Not really. I don't think so. Yeah, nah, nothing's coming to mind. Um... Nah, uh, I'm. I highly doubt there's anything. You could just reserve to grab late game. Yeah, nah, mine's drawing a blank. I, I highly doubt it. So, yeah, that's pretty depressing. So, I mean, this category saves a bit more than fucking no pause storage. But it's still saving like nothing. Alright, now we move on to... I'm gonna move... I was supposed to be doing it in order. But I want to do APL be, uh, first because... This category is the easiest to explain of the three anyway. And it's easy, the easiest to shut down for, like, why it's not viable. Uh, it's very viable for cruise boosting. So cheat categories usually let you use guitar, like pretty early in the run. Not all of them. Um, but that's that's what these three categories, the next three, are going to be about. In this category, the objective of all, all platforming levels or APL is basically you have to do all of the non-sliding and driving tokens. And you have access to every cheat that you could want. So max health, max upgrades, unlock the move, you know, unlock all the moves basically, and upgrade them to maximum at the same time to macho. And unlock all warps. So that sounds pretty good. Wow, I mean, we could we could just do a lot here. Um oh, that that doesn't mean that I need to th this this will apply to the other two categories, the no cheat stuff. So immediately, because you have a guitar, you can do a lag clip. Oh, I didn't do it in this category, never mind. We don't need to look at it for now, we can just ignore it. But yeah, this this category doesn't have much cruise boosting action that could be done. Although it's it's hard to say entirely, but Um I'm surprised I did this because it's faster to just do a light clip. Yeah, I don't know why I, I think I did that because just because the marshmallow clip sucks. But um Either way, no, you wouldn't really do any cruise boosting here. 
Um. Okay, so you just do. Honestly, I don't remember this run very well. Okay, and then we do. What am I doing? Oh yeah, and then you just do the fire the end. You, I mean, it's not. Uh, there's not really any benefit to doing a SpongeBob with a cruise boost there. Um. And then SpongeBob, obviously, there's nothing. This now. Mm, I don't think there's any benefit here. Also, we found out that it's faster to just do casual monster and Chris in uh this category anyway. However, I don't know, because you could jump across all those platforms with cruise boost probably. But I don't know if you'd fall off the platform. I think you would save time here. I think you would go on these plat. I, I wish I showed it, but my run is outdated. Um, but you just jump across the platforms, which I think you can make the all of them. And then you would hopefully just not fall off the platform after collecting the token. They just jump down and collect this one. I think that's what you would do. Um, or you could just two frame it. Um, so yeah, you would save a little, a tiny bit there. And it's probably not worth getting. Yeah, it's probably not worth that. No benefit. Bungie, no benefit. Combat, no benefit. I'm surprised I did combat this late. Um. Oh wait, no, I I know why I did it that late. Yeah. Um. Saves time. That's why. SCDA. Not. Again, not really, like, anything. You have to, again, you have to do Area 2 as Patrick. If we could do, like, Bolstar stuff to get Spongebob into SCD Area 2, but that's, like, such a fucking stretch. It's probably not even possible anyway, even in theory. So that had to be editing the I and I. Bounceless. No. Bungie, no. Well. Yeah, no, not really. Um... Spongebob, no. So, yeah, as you can see, the issue of why cruise boosting would not even be useful in this category, really. Let me save a tiny bit. But the issue, like, you could do cruise boosting here. Save a little bit, a few sec, you know, save a few seconds. The issue is that the ability to warp anywhere is too powerful. And you're just able to warp to a lot of tasks. Um, so, again, just, a you know, it'd be a little fast, but, like... We'd be saving, I don't know how much we'd be saving so far, but only like 10 seconds or dozen seconds. No benefit there, no benefit here. And then again, with Plank, there's no point in doing lag clips uh, or cruise boosting because you can just fucking warp any everywhere. Um, You need Patrick for, uh, I mean, I guess you could just do the lag clip, but it's faster to. Yeah, no, no, it's faster to do that. And then you could do this as Spongebob again. And you can actually two-frame the token. Although two-framing it with Patrick would be a lot easier, so... You know, on average, this, it wouldn't even be very fast, if at all, on average. But still, you could save a little bit of time there, as we described earlier. And... and um, Again, just the tiny benefits here. Um... So, Depression Combat, no benefit. And then Bounce, but you spawn in this Patrick, so no benefit. Throwing Fruit, Patrick, no benefit. Um, BBBH Combat, no benefit. I'm surprised to do it this late. Rockfish, no benefit. SCDA Guitar, no benefit. And then Neptune. So, yeah, in this category, Bruce Boosting saves less than 20 seconds, and you have access to Guitar. Um, that's great. Now, the final ones, I'm going to do all wool tokens now, because this would, again, like, now we're, we're building up, like, how much it can actually save. So, again, the most, so far as, like, all tokens is, like, 30 seconds, or maybe, like, 35 at a stretch. This category, so this is all wool tokens. A little complicated, but basically, 
you do every main world task. So you don't do any sliding and driving, and you don't do any floating blocks, sponge bowls, or combat arenas, but you do bosses and every other token. So I think it's just like 28 tokens in the end or something. It's a pretty short category. Um, Actually, I'm going to use early powers to show off no choose because I didn't do, I didn't do the lag clips and all the tokens. Um, so, yeah, you could do a lag clip here. I'm, I'm, I'm using Oops' gameplay because he has the world record in this category. So you you do a lag clip there, but I th I don't know if you could do a lag clip while cruise boost. I feel like there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. So you could do a cruise boost, and it's surprising. Like, this, this lag clip does save a decent amount. It does save, like, 8 seconds or something if, it, if you do it perfectly. But there's a lot of walking. You actually could save quite a bit. Now, you would have to realistically get rid of your cruise boost here because um, otherwise you'll just charge right because we ceiling swim under an, a huge invisible wall and then we clip back up if you're getting pushed by cruise boosting it made the two frame here really hard or the one frame and this doesn't save much time at all without the the two frame uh the one frame uh so yeah um So yeah, you could actually save quite a bit of time here. I mean, it's hard to imagine exactly, but... I think it would save, like, at least, like, 8 seconds, honestly. I'd say, like, at least 8. And this has no benefit, and, sam and sandwich driving has no benefit. Oh, wait, no. Um, now I need to show all the tokens. So yeah, um, that's the that that's that's what no cheese would be like in this category too. I just didn't do it properly. Um, so now we're having some Patrick action. This is what I should have done in all platforming levels, but you'll see why cruise boosting wouldn't even be beneficial here because you just already do a guitar glide and then you go into some marshmallows and you clip back up. This clip is horrible, by the way. It doesn't work like two thirds of the time. Oh, my run is so goddamn bad. Then when you warp here, you're just Patrick anyway. And then... Yeah, I mean, you already collected everything, I mean... And, and then 3k would be... You know, you could technically do some cruise boosting until you realize something. And I actually need to show early powers again because I don't do this black clip here. Even though it once again would would be doable in the category, let me go to hit up early powers. Um. So there's a light clip here. I, I don't. I think we just call it like three K clip or something. But here's here it is. I don't like it. My game just like lags so hard. I can't like bash afterwards. But yeah, this is all it is. It saves like I don't know how much it saves. I timed it before. I think it's like twenty seconds maybe. We do it perfectly. Um, and then you just do some ceiling swimming stuff. Um, but yeah, I this wouldn't really be. I mean, you could you could get a cruise boost, and then you could and then you could just like bash jump over here so that you don't have to do a bash boost. Let's assume that you can... This is a little iffy, but let's assume that you can line clip through and the speed doesn't push you into the goo that's underneath. And, you know, just having a grand old time, just walking around, being able to do some ceiling swimming here. You'd have to get rid of it anyway because uh, you need to guitar this from out of bounds. And then you could do a little cruise boost. It's probably not worth it, though. Um, and then, yeah, you're at the end of the level. Oh wait, I was supposed to show. Dude, I, I mixed them up because I got so into it. My bad. Um, yeah, so you do that clip. And then you clip back in. So it wouldn't be that fun, but you could like bash up here. But you know, we're saving a little bit of time. Then we do bungee. Um, then you two frame the token. And then this, you know, yeah, you don't really benefit from this. And then you would do a lag clip. 
Oh wait, no, I mean, uh, you could cruise boost it, but it would hardly, it wouldn't really be worth it. Then you do steamed. And then you warp to the end. I mean, eh, maybe you could do a little bit of crew booing, but probably not. So, you know, we'd save a little, little bit of time, you know. This far in the run, maybe saving like 15 seconds or something. Um, then we go to plank. Again, we're doing some... Uh, guitaring action. Drag guitar, clips, by clips. But now we need to go this way for Bungie. Um, although I don't know why I did it like this. Because it, yeah, I could literally just have gone the other way. Yeah, okay, so that, that was not fast. I could have, yeah, so I could have done the cruise boost stuff from 100%. And then after this... Um, we, again, we don't go to combat now, so you would, you would use Spongebob cruise boosting here. Then we, again, maybe a cruise boost area too. Here, this would have the lag clip, uh, from no pause storage. Uh, obviously didn't have it here because, um, didn't exist at the time. It's only existed since, like, February or something. And again, you get a little benefit there, but then you gotta get rid of your cruise boost here so that you can, uh... Do a little bit of grinding. Dude, when this category first exists, so you didn't necessarily have to grind here, but now you do because of, like, how much shit's been found. But yeah. That's just a gripe with, like, not using upgraded moves for this category. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't think I explained what the rules were. Um... Well, I said what tokens you have to do. You can only warp to the first token of every task or to uh, uh, tokens you've already collected. And you have unupgraded moves, but that doesn't really matter for this. Upgraded ball doesn't have faster speeds as far as I'm aware. And again, like I said earlier, uh, you get up here. And you do BBBH backwards here. And, yeah, I think you would just do cruise boosting shit. Yeah, it, you'd get the exact same benefits. The rest of this would just be identical. Um, and then, now that we're men. Again, I don't know how much we're saving at this point, but maybe, like... like again, probably, like, 35 or something. So now we're saving about as much as old tokens, and we're not even done. So we could have done a little bit of cruise boosting. Um, again, we could we could do some cruise boosting here. Um, you could probably, yeah, no, you could definitely double it, yeah. And then you can maintain it, and then just stuff here. Although you could do it. Uh, actually, no, yeah, no, this is like. But yeah, you wouldn't be doing any cruise boosting here. Uh, you maybe could here. Yeah, it's pretty, you, you, pretty worth it. Save a little bit. Um, there's something you do here called lobster clips. You don't like need to do all this, but that doesn't really affect cruise boosting. And you just get a cruise boost here and just walk to the end, save a little bit. Then here, you could also get another cruise boost while you walk up here. And then you, you obviously you lose it after that, but... And then you do the end level token. It's probably not worth cruise boot having cruise boost at this point. Because otherwise you'll fall into the lava. Yeah, because we just two frame the token anyway. Um SCDA is like literally no benefit. Uh and then all of this then is Dennis Frogfish, Dennis 2, and then Neptune. So that's the end of it. So Again, it's a little hard to say how much it's saved, but I'd say I'd say maybe like 50 seconds max. And that is a little beefy for a category this long. Not a lot, but you know, it's uh something. Um I guess the one thing is that maybe in depression it would be fast to like 
instead of doing it uh, this here, you could get a cruise boost off of uh, the wall, and then maybe you could do all of this as SpongeBob, and then do Creek as Patrick, but I just don't think that'd be fast. Because the Guitar Glide saves a lot. If it saves anything, it's not much. I like that. My bed is messy in the background. I'm looking at it right now, and it's like... Dude, the bed's a different color, I just realized. And the sheets... Well, obviously the sheets would be different. The actual... Is the frame taller? I don't know. Anyway. Um... So yeah, I mean, there would be a little bit of benefit to this cat, you know, like 50 seconds. This, this is the one that benefits the most so far. Um, This category is already like so goddamn arbitrary, but it doesn't really need cruise. It doesn't really need cruise boosting, but no. And then finally, also there are platforming. There are platforming ILs, but nobody really cares about those and you warp to everywhere anyway, so it would only save a bit of time in like some categories and it wouldn't even save a huge amount in really any of them. Um, so we already saw like the benefit of it yeah, like uh, doing stuff. Rubber dub is no benefit. BBBH is no benefit because you literally just do the slide jumps. Weenie, frogfish, rock slide. Now the one men is when it starts to get a little spicy. So again, you could do a little bit of. You could probably make it over to the paddle wheel without doing. I don't, I'm not sure to be honest. But yeah, then you do a, a lag clip here. This lag clip is a pain in the ass, but it's cool. Because we don't we don't need to worry about bungees, we can save a ton of time. Um And then you can do this clip here. It's not really worth it, hardly saves anything, but yeah. Um um, yeah, so, again, and then you get sim similar benefits here, like that I said earlier, except you obviously avoid the token and then just bug it to the end. Um, oh yeah, early powers, the objective, sorry, uh, the objective of early powers, you have unupgraded moves, but that's it. So the objective is to get every end level token, you know, the, every token that transitions you to the next level, so you just get one token per level. Um, but you can't warp, like, you can't, you don't have, like, a bunch of warps unlocked or whatever, you know? However, all this cruise boosting stuff here is basically negated. I should have shown this too, but there is a damage boost you can do that is, like, the world's worst thing ever. You would do some stuff in the distance you can't see, and you would, like, manip a fogger in, like, a perfect way, and then bash boost off of his burp attack and barely touch a trampoline to get the end level token. So, realistically, no fucker's ever gonna do that. I believe Oost is retired from this game, and I do not care about this category enough to do shit like that. That might genuinely be the worst RTA viable trick in the game. I only call it RTA viable because it's like 17 minutes into the run and saves a lot. Well, it, it saves like 15 seconds or something, but yeah, it would just negate the cruise boot. Or at least realistically, you wouldn't go for it and you'd save a little bit of time from cruise boot. Yeah, but only a few seconds anyway. But yeah, in theory, you wouldn't even do cruise boosting here. And if we're talking about theory, then I probably should apply the theory. So yeah, no, no, no time save here, basically. And again, SCDA, absolutely zero benefit. And then Dennis, Sunday, Gask. And then we get the plank again. And there's no point in cruise boosting here, because after you collect this token, you set up ball storage, and you warp to ice skating, because that's the token we just collected. And then you actually would benefit here, you don't get this token here, like all the other categories. You actually take a very long trip to around this area. And it's a little tough, but you do some ceiling swimming stuff. And then you pop back in bounds, and then you go up here. 
Now, that would be quite a bit faster with cruise boosting, for sure. And then this would just have that uh, sponge glide time save. Um, God, the sponge glide wouldn't even save that much because we need to get more fucking... It's say, it skips, this, this category already had, like, manly jeopardy because of Robotov skip, and then this skips, like, 200 manlies as well, so it's just, it's just that you can't get away with it anymore. Um, but it still would save time, so yeah, just, like, a little bit of benefit, obviously, with, like, this, but... Yeah, just the same shit as before, and then Knucklehead and Neptune have no benefit. So, I might have potentially been lying when I said that this one would save the most. But I'm not sure. Save a lot from no cheese. But you do an AWT. You save a decent amount with this. A little more than AWT, probably, but not much at all. Just a few extra seconds. Now that we're men, you save a little bit... Honestly, I think I was... Yeah, no, I think I fucked this up royally, damn. Well, that's pretty fitting for something... A topic like this anyway, that I fucked up so much. So yeah, no, I was saving this for last because I thought it saved the most, but no, all... All world tokens would benefit the most, and it would save, like, at most... Like, seriously now, probably doesn't even save this much, but at most it saved, like, 50 seconds, but it probably saved more like 40. And that's the one that saved the most, and the one that saved the second most would be, like, all tokens, or maybe this one. And, and the most popular category wouldn't even benefit from it, so now we can finally get into why... I mean, obviously it's very limited, but why is that automatically a bad thing? Well, underutilization of cool tech can be frustrating. Um... It, it gets such little representation. No pole storage is the most respected category in the game, and it'd have nearly no benefit, right? And the category that benefits from it the most, AWT, is one of the least respected categories. Um, people don't like it because of how insanely arbitrary it is. Basically, but yeah, it would benefit from the most, but... The world record is my world record, and the world record is, like, nearly three years old, and it's really, really, really bad. Like, it is my world record by a mile. Like, it is pro it is the only world record I still have on the boards that could be improved by 60 seconds or more. Uh, with my current skill level and stuff, and you can save more than that. I, I, I could, I could, I could, if I got, like, a god run, I could save, like, two and a half minutes or more. Like, I'm not even joking. There should, yeah, there should be, like, two and a half minutes. Um. Potentially even more than that. Um. So even any just decent player can be my time. But yeah, so that's the most representation it gets in a category that nobody cares about. Um, and the least representation... It gets is the category that people care about the most. And even in the categories like no, like no Major Glitches and Hundo, does it help him stand out a little bit more? I guess, but, like, not much. And cruise boosting is really not even, like, hard. So, oh, pressing buttons at the same time. It, it's, seriously, no, there's a difference between a one frame and pressing two buttons at the same time. Like, there's a fucking difference. So it wouldn't really make the runs harder. If anything, as I showed, in a couple ways, it'd make it uh, easier. Um, but it would be a nice little speed boost, but it'd be so horrifically underutilized. But the actual main reason why it's pointless is because what is the point in comparing it to Battle for Bikini Bottom, right? This game has always been compared unfavorably. Again, longer tokens, like, significantly more restrictions... Um, you know, like, sliding and driving levels, especially back in 2016 when hardly any of them had strats. Um, it was just disappointing, really. It was a pain in the ass. Um... And one of the things was like, oh my god, the game doesn't even have cruise boosting. If if this game had cruise boosting back then, even the five speed one, when no major glitches was any percent, like that was before BBBH backwards. So there'd be like no fucking benefit to it anyway. It would literally be like nearly no benefit. And then people would just 
be like, oh, it has... Like, if anything, I feel like opinion of the game would be even worse. I, I genuinely think it'd be even worse. Because even though it would have this thing, it'd be so underutilized that it'd just be yet another way to compare it to the game that is able to use it a lot when it's already unfavorably compared to so much anyway, especially back then. So, I, I think it would just make it worse. And yes, we have these other categories now, and yes, people don't make a big fuss about comparing the two games anymore. But the people that do... Battle doesn't just have the significantly more cruise boosting because it does, and a lot more variety in, in, in routing options and stuff like that. Hell, Battle is able to make beginner friendly routes to skip hard tricks in early and mid game to then do them in late game with cruise boosting for beginners. We can't do anything like that. It has like no variety, it's just nothing, you know what I mean? It's just a speed boost and not for very long. And that that's all it is. And again, it isn't just 5-speed cruise boosts anymore. They have fucking insane cruise boosting. Like, fucking... Uh, let's go to... BFB. Um... Wow, that was a lot of ads. Jesus fucking Christ. Um... Hopefully that wasn't loud just then. I don't full volume. Where's that Dutchman one? They have something called a fucking UCB. Watch this shit now. I think, I mean, I don't know if he gets it. Yeah, it looks like he got it. Look how fast this is. Apparently, it's like some frame perfect, pixel perfect bullshit. But yeah, look at it. Look at it. Now, this is, and it, uh, it, it gets seen in like, again, I think in like 100%. Um. But yeah, like, you can see how fast this is. This is, like, the top speeds that they're dealing with now. And it isn't just this. There's, there's other fast cruise boosts, too. Not as fast as this. But that's not the point. You know, the point being... Um... Yeah, the, 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 the point being that... You know, wanting cruise boosting was such a fucking, like, 2016, 2017, hell, even 2018 thing. But as Battle got faster cruise boosting, it just got to the point where, like, even if Movie had it, even in all world tokens where it'd benefit from the, the most, it's saving, like, at most, like, 50 seconds in a category no one cares about. Like, I don't want, like, why even bother, like... And again, this is this is something that wouldn't even be reality. It'd be either 0.8 or 0.6 speed. And even if it is 0.8, like, okay, yeah, a little teeny tiny bit of time saving BBBH backwards, but that's basically it. That's that's it. So it would only benefit fucking all world tokens, all tokens, and no major glitches, and it would save like fucking five, six seconds. Wow, that sounds terrific. So, the TLDR is that it barely benefits any categories, it would be horrifically slow, and even if you, even if you cheat and let it have 5-speed cruise boosting, there's no way to get faster cruise boosting, really, at least realistically. We are way too restricted on routing and, and manlies, and BFB just has even faster cruise boosting, and, and even, so again, even if we did have it, it barely benefit us, it barely speed up the runs, and it wouldn't even be used for, like, cool routing options. It would literally just be to go fast in one particular area or two in a run. And it would just draw comparisons between the two. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you around.